Windy Hill Middle School was named an avid national demonstration school. For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Lori Davis. The school was among 170 schools given the honor by AVID across the United States and one of just 18 schools in Florida and Georgia. It's only the second school in Lake County to get the honor. A monument dedicated to the Groveland Four will be unveiled next week on the lawn of the Lake County Historic Courthouse. The public is invited to join the Groveland Four family members February 21st at 10.30 a.m. Lake County has integrated texting into its 911 answering system, allowing residents to reach a first responder via text when calling is not an option. Texting is available for all residents in the county regardless of their mobile carrier. The Big Bass Tour kicked off its first national tournament of the year in the Harris Chain of Lakes last weekend, drawing more than 800 participants from around the country. Braden Rakes, originally of Lakeland, took the grand prize. Lake County Fire Rescue hired 19 new firefighters this week. 15 were hired using grants from the Department of Homeland Security's SAFER grant. The $1.75 million grant works alongside a local match of around a million dollars. Dr. Claire Brady, Lake Sumter State College Vice President for Enrollment and Student Affairs, has been named to a two-year term as a board member of the James E. Scott Academy. The primary role of the board is to provide advice and leadership on critical issues. For more local news, check out dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News in 90 on LSTV. I'm Lori Davis. Production support for News in 90 is made possible by Leesburg Regional Medical Center, celebrating 55 years of healthcare excellence in our community. When it comes to your health, it's easy to feel alone. But with us by your side, you never are. We're your neighbors, familiar faces. We're experts and friends. We're more than just a hospital. We're part of the community. And we're always here wherever life takes you. Leesburg Regional Medical Center, by your side.